In this video, we're going to take a look at quadratic word problems. So typically your y-axis represents the height and the x-axis represents the time in these problems. So let's label some specific parts of our graph and what they're going to tell you. So for your y-intercept, that's usually your initial height at time zero. Because that's what an x, a y-intercept is. It's where x equals zero, which is our time. And then that's usually your starting point of something that's at a certain height. At your vertex, the x value will be the time that's at the highest point. So like notice this vertex is the highest point. So it's like a maximum height at that specific time. And then how high is the object after so many seconds? That's gonna be something that you find between that highest point and when it hits the ground. So that would depend on the question of what they ask, but you would find that along this part of your graph, depending on what they ask you for. So high, how high is the object after a certain amount of seconds would be like a point right here where maybe it says like five, 200. So that would mean for your X, after five seconds, for example, the height is 200 meters. So that's just an example of like a point on the graph in that area could tell you an answer to how high it is after a certain amount of seconds. Or after a certain amount of seconds, what would be the height? So down here at the bottom where it hits the X axis, this is a good place to say that that's where you're height would be zero or distance from the ground is zero and then it's your time that it hits the ground like how long it takes to hit the ground or land and then over here on the negative side we typically don't need this value because it just doesn't make really good sense because that's where time would be negative and that doesn't make sense so we don't typically need the values that are over here on this side because that's not gonna be very logical. So for example one, let's take a look at the height of a diver. So we have height on our Y axis and we have time in seconds on the X axis. And it says, how tall is the diving platform? So you can tell from the graph that the diving platform would be where the diver starts. So that's like your Y intercept. And it looks like that is around 25 meters. And I'm just going to jot down that is talking about the y-intercept. So notice they didn't say y-intercept, but we can tell that's the initial starting point, which is always our y-intercept. What is the maximum height of the diver? So it looks like right here is where he reached, he or she, excuse me, reached a maximum height. And the maximum height would be 30 meters. So they must have jumped up before they started to come back down. So 30 meters how long does it take for the diver to reach the maximum height so that means that's the x value right there so it could help to write the ordered pair of your vertex or your maximum which is 130 so at one second that's when they reach their maximum height of 30 meters and how long does it take the diver to hit the water so to hit the water is over here on the x-axis at three and a half. So that means after three and a half seconds, the diver reached the water. All right, so that's a good quick overview of how these problems are typically set up and what parts of your graph mean.